Hello, so we are back. Now, you remember this video with the Lenovo Legion and uh, proves to be a faulty IO chip. And then I try to program the chip because this cannot be programmed uh, using the keyboard connector. Because next here, you have another IT chip. So you cannot program this chip, this easy chip, by the keyboard connector. So I try and solder wires uh, on the EC chip, you can see there, and try to program the EC chip. And I could not do it, if you remember. Well, uh, guess what? A package just arrived. This is coming from uh, Timisoara, Romania, and uh, uh, has been sent by the guy from our Discord, Pistop Computers. I sent the chip to him, he programmed the chip, and uh, he sent the chip back. So it's time to fix that laptop. Now, this is a special job. And why, why do you think it's special? It is special because I, I hope to this chip to don't work, yeah? I hope, so I can test my tools. So, uh, this was one of the reasons why I bought the SVOD programmer and all the adapters, so I can actually program this chip. If you don't have those adapters, you cannot pro program the EC chip on this specific laptop. So we have the IO chip here. And let me grab the laptop and try to solder the chip back. Hopefully it will not work. Hopefully it will not work. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, so this is the Lenovo Legion gaming laptop board. And uh, we remove the IO chip. Now let's solder the IO chip back. I mean, clearly here is nothing to clean. Everything is looking good. Try to focus, try to get rid of the reflections. Yeah. It's looking fine. Now let me grab the chip out. Good. Now let's see the chip position. So the chip position, we have the P number one here. Yeah, you can see it here. So the P number one is here. Okay. Good. That's how the chip has to be. Now let me use some flux. Let's use some flux. Good. Solder iron. Okay. That should be fine. Good. Perfect, right? Good. Now let's solder the chip. I will use hot air to solder the chip back. Let's be sure the chip is on the right position. 
you know, we can solder this chip in, uh, in one take here. Yeah? So it looks okay for me. Flux. Let me grab a nozzle. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so the chip is soldered on place. We're gonna check every pin. And I can only hope it will not work. I can only hope. Here I see a dodgy pin. Yeah, I can see it. You can see it? So this is dodgy, it's not solder. The other ones are solder. Rosin. Yeah, that's perfect. Good. Now, any other pin? Can you spot any? I mean, all looks soldered properly. This one, they, that one is not right. Rosin.
perfect. Now the other ones look solder. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, great. I'm not gonna clean yet. Yeah, let's try. Let's try see if it's working. Let's try. Hopefully it will not work, and uh, we're gonna take the chip out and gonna try to program on our new tools. Let me grab the other part of the laptop. Okay, let's see. So we need a board, which has to be like that. I don't know where is the power button. Let me check. Let me check. The power button is on the motherboard. Yeah, we don't need this. No. So the power button, it's exactly here. Then I don't need anything, right? We need only the screen. And the charger. So that's the screen. And we need a charger. Yeah, but we don't have heat sink. But that's not important, right? We have to see if it's coming on. So plug in the charger. And I can see a light on the power button. Uh, okay. That's kind of sad. Let me put the heat sink. That's kind of sad. You know what? I was hoping uh, the board it will not start, but I can see the light on the on the power button. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's no picture. Who knows? So the heat sink has to be like that. Good. Uh, we cannot now we have to put the board back because the screen connector is behind of the heat sink. Yeah. Okay, so the board is on place. But this has to be on the other side of the board. Yeah. Has to be here. Let's take the battery out. Okay, the battery is out. This cable has to come exactly here. This connector has to be here. This is nothing there connected. No, nothing. We have the keyboard. We have the touchpad here. Here we have this small board, USB board. We have the BIOS battery. 
we have the screen. And the heat sink, where is the heat sink? Good. We can uh, replace the thermal paste if it's working. Yes, that's not a problem. Good, the fans. Now, I don't think we need battery. Let's plug the charger and let's test. So the charger is plugged in. The fans are spinning, you can see. Uh, I can't see any light. The fans are still spinning. You know, when you reset the BIOS, you have to wait a little bit. Let's wait, and hopefully it will not work. And it's not working, right? I, ah, I forgot to plug the memory, the RAM memory. Hmm. I'm holding the laptop here because the charger is exactly on the back of the laptop, yeah? It's not on the side. The fans are spinning. And it's working. Oh! That's so bad. You know, I was thinking we can make this video more exciting. Like, you know, we have the opportunity to check our tool. Enter. Yeah, we don't have hard drive. I don't think the customer left the hard drive into the laptop. It's trying to boot from the network, the laptop. Uh, the full boot device missing. Yeah, the mousepad is working. Everything seems to be fine. Pressing the power button, and it is coming on. Ah, well, okay, checking media. It is working fine. Sad Pepe, you know, the frog? Yeah. You know, as the thing, I work so hard trying to program this ship with wires. If you've seen that video, and actually when you see a video, it's just a small portion of actually the work which was put on the, on the programming of this ship. And I ended up desoldering the chip and sending the chip back uh, in Romania for programming. It just feels bad. Now I have the tools, but the chip is working. Okay, maybe next one. Let me put all back together. I don't know if... Let me see if we have hard drive. One second. Wait, we do have a hard drive. This is a hard drive? Yeah, he has, here has to be some metal things. Hmm. 
Okay, let the hard drive there and let's check to see if it's loading the windows. Pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on, I can see the fan spinning. And it's loading the windows, yeah, it is working. Yeah, it's a lot of dust. You know, that's what happened with the laptops. When you close the laptops, the dust is coming out from the keyboard. Yeah, and it's working fine. We don't have the Wi-Fi card. Okay, so... Uh, I will stop this video. I'm really sorry. Actually, I cannot uh, program the chip to show you how it has to be done. Because on the last video, people said... Sorry, I done programming with CH431 or I done programming with Revel Pro. Yeah, you can do it. I also have that clone, you remember, which was like 80 pounds and I can program any motherboard by the keyboard connector. That's very important, by the keyboard connector. On this case, on the front of the keyboard, do you have another IT chip? Uh, because this has some backlight and has to be fast, it's, it's a gaming laptop and I could not be programmed the chip by, by the keyboard connector so you have to take out the chip and put the chip onto, into the programmer if you ask me soldering wires, that's what I did on the video from before I solder wires and it didn't work, I got some errors because probably it was soldered on the motherboard, so yeah Okay, I'll stop this. Uh, yeah, the job is done. But doesn't feel rewarding, you know. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.